you are about to see a Fix It Friday video where an it person with very little technical skill or knowledge would attempt to fix something. This is not a how-to video and is likely to be factually incorrect and at times possibly dangerous. Please don't copy Kip and see this video for limited entertainment purposes only. Roll titles! <laughs> a slightly different start to a Fix It Friday video. I'm actually going to go and pick up the thing that I've potentially got to go and fix. So yeah, it is a 1982 Atari 2600 and it's the Darth Vader version because it's all black. It's not wood like the one I've looked at before on my channel and it's got the four switches. Apparently it's not working. Now I don't know how true that is. I don't know whether they've just not put in the right power supply or they can't get it tuned into their telly or it is indeed broken. I found it on Facebook Marketplace this morning and I'm going to go and drive to the person's house now. They're about 30 minutes away from me and go and pick it up and uh, see what we've got. So uh, yeah, let's go for a little drive. Well, I've just picked it up. Lovely chap. He's not sure if it's working. So he told me he's tried a few things, so we'll have to see how it is. But fingers crossed, we've got a Fix It Friday here. I'm gonna go home and uh, when we come back, we'll have a look at it. Well, it's a few days later now and uh, I've just got a chance to sit down and have a little look at what we've got in the box and we can test it and see what happens. And if it's broken, we can give it a repair. So uh, let's see what's inside here. So this is completely as the guy gave it to me. Everything that was included is in this box. So uh, let's have a little look. Okay, so we've got a mains adapter, but this is a, it's a European or US mains adapter. So it's nine volts. Yep, that's the right mains adapter. And it also runs from 100 volts to 240 volts. Um, but yeah, I don't have a, an adapter to convert that into a UK plug. So I won't be able to test the mains adapter at the moment, but I do have a working Atari 2600 mains adapter from the video where I got one. I'll stick a link to that video up there because it's actually quite good. Um, what else have we got? Oh, okay, so we've got a bag of cables and stuff, all like aerial cables, some weird barrel adapter yeah just lots of aerial cable stuff okay which is a bit weird because this has its own inbuilt aerial cable so I don't really understand ah we've got a joystick I did actually buy a joystick from eBay for my other Atari 2600 which I haven't actually tested yet but it's good to have two. Oh, that's weird that doesn't look standard look at that connector there very strange. Never seen anything like that before. I'm pretty certain the Atari 2600 ones just came with molded connectors, but it does look like a little bit of a DIY job. Interesting, okay. Oh, love this, look at this. Ah, I thought it was sealed for a second, but yeah, there's a bit of tape there, but look at that manual. It's like brand new. I've never seen one as good as that. Oh, mate, it's in 1982. Yeah, it genuinely doesn't look like it's actually been out, really. We'll leave that for now. So that's all that's left. I've got some aerial adapters. We don't really need those. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. This is in such good condition. I don't know whether he gave it a bit of a clean before I came and picked it up, but... So yeah, this is called the Darth Vader edition because it's all black which I kind of like that's quite cool and this is also different from the one that I've got already that's got the wood on it whereby this is the four switch version now the wood one I've got is the six switch version and basically all they did was they just moved the switches to there so yeah that's amazing 
Here we go, look, manufactured in Ireland for Atari. Still got the original serial number sticker on it. This is, this is great, even, even if it doesn't work, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Oh, it, was, it was working in 2017 because it was pat tested. I do still have to do the RGB mod on my Atari 2600, which I will get around to. Hopefully this will spur me on um, because, yeah, it's really hard for me to test these because all my TVs are digital and don't listen to the analog signals out of here. So I guess we need to test it. And as I said, I've got a known good working power adapter, so that's fine. And uh, it's time to bring this old boy out again. This is my test rig for uh, old consoles. So let's put a bit of power into the TV and turn it on. Now I think the TV will have like flickeriness. Yeah, it's got like sort of scan lines. It doesn't look like that in real life. The vertical hold is absolutely fine. Got an absolute stone cold classic here. Space Invaders. So that goes in there. So this is the uh, joystick I got from eBay for my other Atari, but we'll try the one that came with it with the weird connector on. That is weird, isn't it? I'm pretty certain that's not standard. I might be wrong. It was the 80s, it was different times. But also it was a time where people used to fettle with things and you know, if your joystick connector broke, your dad might be able to fix it. So, you know, so let's get Make sure it's off. There we go. Get a bit of power in the power socket. Will it work? Do we have a Fix It Friday at all? Let's try. Oh. Hello, voiceover Kip here. Now, you might have spotted why this isn't working, but I certainly didn't. Um, so while Kip is trying to figure out why it's not working, I'm going to give a shout out to all those cool people who have joined the channel. Please click on the join button below and you can become one of these cool people and get a shout out in the videos too. So first up we've got our Kip fans who are Matt Lovey's JRC Electrical for the Burbs and Mark C. Then we have got the incredible early birds who are Roberta Grudsom, Dean Ball, Sean at Cablesmith Electrical, Wayne's Retro World, Tim Salt, Sorcerer Stan and Adventure Rachel. Then I love these guys so much and they love me too they are the kip lovers who are richard r blaster bella webster lawrence and stairs sticks flipping fix and she's still here our gorgeous kip nutter thank you so much for your support becky becky booba right okay let's go back to kip and i think he's had a bit of a breakthrough tell you what i'm gonna get my other atari and just make sure the tv's definitely still working because these old things they can be a bit flaky <sighs> I'm an idiot. In going to connect up the other Atari, I just realised I didn't plug the actual TV output on. Ah, never mind, right. Let us see. Oh! It's working! Oh my god, I've got a working Atari. Yes, look at that. Well, in some ways that's great because I don't have to repair it, but also it's slightly disappointing from a Fix It Friday point of view because I don't have to repair it. But yeah, I don't know whether the power adapter that the guy was plugging in was faulty, but this is definitely working. So not the Fix It Friday I was hoping for, which I'm sorry about that, but I'm actually really quite happy that I've got this amazing condition console for like hardly any money and it works. Yeah, I don't know whether the adapter the guy had was working properly, but I'm not gonna complain because it works, which is amazing. So I've got one more thing upcoming for Fix It Friday, which is an old retro game. Of course it is. And then maybe we'll get on to fixing up my other Atari 2600 and doing the RGB mod on it. So uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. But I don't think I've got anything else to say. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.